Barbican's been a big inspiration for the last four years. Taking photographs, creating a book, uh, meeting new people. It's a brutalist exterior. It's like a book cover. You don't really know what you're going to get until you open it. What I love about this apartment is the light. The morning you might get very soft light as the sun's rising. Towards the afternoon you get harsh shadows. And then towards the evening you get the, you know, the nice golden light, the orange tones, yellow tones. So for me I'm just constantly moving objects and taking pictures. Since doing my book, Barbican Residence, I've made lots of friends in the Barbican. You know, we regularly get together and have drinks. So it's, it's created a sort of community aspect. The guy who designed the book lives in the Barbican. He's a neighbour of mine. My favourite material would be metal. And also wood, to be honest. I've got a lot of wooden furniture. Coffee tables and dining tables from wood and metal. So it's nice to see them both used together. I'm now on my fifth coffee table, which is the made.com one. It's just clean round shape, which is what I really like. When moving, I instantly look for light and space as well. You can always change furniture around to make space, but you've got to have a good space to live in.